when everybody when everybody makes this video this is like the worst video to make because after you release it you gotta hear bullshit you know what i'm saying from people and their opinions about what you got going on in your life and all that but i've done so many reaction videos to people's lives and you know what they've gone through and you know how they got through it and what they should have did better and all that shit. You know, I can say I've learned from other people's mistakes, right? So, just give me a second, I need an ashtray. So, as a creator, obviously, this following has been built and we are a fucking family. So, I'll tell you what's going on. Well, I've been here before. I've made a video like this before, and I said that me and Jay broke up. That was a true video. I was dead ass serious. We actually did break up. We stayed in the same household. We didn't leave. So, naturally, when you're still around a person that you still love and, you know, shit like that, it was almost like it never happened, right? And... I never asked her back out or anything, but it's almost like we didn't break up. So, now I'm here again. Me and Jadea broke up, um, aka J Vibes. Uh, so, let's go ahead and go here. No, I didn't cheat on her. No, she didn't cheat on me. Um, I did not disrespect her. She has not disrespected me. She did move out and we are no longer together and um to be honest i never told y'all my age so i'm gonna go ahead and go there i'm 29 you know i know i told some of y'all i was 45 you know <laughs> i really told y'all i was 45 but it was just a game i was born in 89 i'm about to turn 30 and this feeling of turning 30 is a different feeling and I'm talking about, like, when I turned 25, I felt different. Like, yo, you need to get your shit together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Was how that felt at 25. And about to turn 30, it's a lot of things that are going through my mind daily. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit I'm going through behind the scenes. Y'all don't know about. You know, people look at people that are creators and think that they're perfect. I used to do the same shit. I used to say all the time, like, they got so much money. Why do they even care? You know what I'm saying? They living like this. Why does it even matter? You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. First of all, money don't buy you happiness. People actually still go through shit in life. You know what I'm saying? And this shit be fucked up. This is a lot of shit that's fucked up out here, right? But we all have, and we've had to conform to what society is making us conform to. And that is being highly insensitive. And it's almost like you ignore shit. Just put that shit to the fucking side. I'm not gonna address that right now. I got too much shit to do. My bills cost this much. Ain't nobody else taking care of me, bitch. I got shit to do. I got kids. You know what I'm saying? I got shit to do. So, you put shit to the side. It's, it's almost like it never happened. You know? At least that's what I was doing. You know? I've gone through so much shit in my life. And, you know, I am a different person. And I feel different. I move different. You know? And in some ways it's good and in some ways it's bad. So, ignoring and putting things to the side. You know, I'm not gonna get into specifically why we broke up. Because like I said, I've, I learned from other YouTubers. They put their business out, people flip the shit around and turn it into something else. I'm not doing that. We broke up. So now let's talk about me. I have been given and given and given and given and given and fucking given to everybody else but me. To everybody else but this bitch 
And I, when I say giving, I mean my heart, my money, my time, my everything to people. And when you realize that people, and let's be very clear, this isn't about one person. This isn't about two people. This isn't about people just behind the scenes. This is about every motherfucking body. You hear me? Everybody. Nobody is not in this of, of what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is excluded. I'm talking about everybody. You know, I, 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 I give so much. Um, and I want to see people win. I, I want to see people, you know, at the top. I want to see people happy. I want people to be able to survive. I wish everybody could just have their own business and, 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 and do what it is they want to do on a daily basis. At least that's what I wanted for everybody around me. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, at the end of the day, it's time for me to focus on me. That's what 30 is doing to me. 30 is like, bitch, okay, you got everybody else together and all that. But when you gonna get you right? That's, that's what the fuck 30 is doing to me. You get what I'm saying? And the shit just, it, it'll smack you in the face. Like, damn, I'm like, what the fuck? What is going on with me? Why am I thinking this way? Why am I feeling this way? You know what I'm saying? I get satisfaction from helping other people. But it ain't too many people out here helping me. You know what I'm saying? I want to be very clear. I'm going to go back into me and Jay. Jay is a fucking awesome woman. And if you decide that you want to choose sides and all that shit, you're lame. You was never a supporter. And please don't support either one of us. You know what I'm saying? To be honest. Because people turn shit like this into a, a reason to bash someone else. I'm not... This is not a bashing thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want people to continue to support her and continue to support me. Jay is a great person. She would have, you know what I'm saying, uh, on, on, the, on the loyal end of things, she's beyond that. I will say that she's beyond loyal. She is very beyond loyal. You know what I'm saying? And she is definitely somebody to have on your team, somebody to have in your corner, you know, she's a, a, a great person. And, you know, I, I appreciate everything that she has done for me. And I hope everything that I have done for her can help her further in her life. You know what I'm saying? Jay just turned 25. I just turned 30. So the mindsets are different. You know, and whatever people say, I don't care what you say. In in my situation, these ages are different. When you turn 25, you get a ding like, what the fuck? <laughs> but when you turn 30, you get like a punch. It's different. You know what I'm saying? 25, like, ah, I think you should do that. 30, like, okay, bitch, I told you you should have did that at 25. You know what I'm saying? I told you that at 25. You don't want to listen. <clears throat> so here we are. You know what I'm saying? This is where we are. <laughs> you know? And at 30 now, I need to focus on me and my mental health and everything and every aspect of me. And if that is selfish to anyone, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? It's been so long I have not thought about me. When I think about I, I want to go out of town. Start thinking like, okay, but I'm not going by myself. Now I know I can afford to go by myself, but I don't. I don't want to be alone. So shit, you come. Oh, you too. Oh, and, and you too. Oh, y'all can't. I got you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A bit. I got you, and you ain't got to pay me back. You ain't got to pay me nothing. You don't owe me shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the person I am. But see, now it's going to be more like, let me go pack a bag. Let me put my bag in my car and let me drive off. You know what I'm saying? Alone. You know? I just want y'all to know that just because people break up, it is not the end of the fucking world. 
So please save the whole. Oh my God, y'all are not gonna be able to live without each other and no. <laughs> That's not where we are. That's not where I am, you know? When you feel as if your health matters more and, and your mind and your soul, and you want something to feed your soul, you, you look for substance. We all look for substance, people. You know what I'm saying? And these substances come in different forms. But the core is you. You know? The core is fucking you. You know what I'm saying? And if you can't feed your own soul, then fuck. How can anybody else feed it for you? You look, you look to other people for other people to help you feed your own soul. It's fucking crazy. But looking at 30, 30 looking like, all right. Now it's time for Neek to think about Neek. Neek has taken care of everybody else around. Make sure y'all shop with Pure Relief. Y'all already know the link is in the description. Neek has taken care of everybody else but Neek. So it's time for Neek to take care of Neek. That's where I am. Obviously you have problems in a relationship. Some things are fixable and some things aren't. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just simply in a space where I have to help myself. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to make this video to let y'all know that. You know, YouTube exposes the real you, right? You do YouTube to showcase your talent. But in the process of showcasing your talents, you start to run out of creativity. You start to find new ways to be creative. You, you get creative blocks, you shut down. You, you have to deal with the world. The world is coming at you all day. You know what I'm saying? The world is coming at you all day. You know, and, and with the world coming at you all day, you still ignoring it. You putting it to the side. You this. You that. Let me tell y'all some shit that happened the other day. I'm done doing promotions. Damn should I say this person name neither. I did a, uh, uh, not a collab. I did a promo for somebody. And um, I did and so did Diamond Dynasty. Right? So this person paid both of us to do these promos. And this person got 20 promos out of both, I mean, excuse me, this person got 20 subscribers out of both of our promos. So you got a promotion from Diamond who has over 180,000 subscribers. You get a promo from me who has over 140,000 subscribers. You don't get no subscribers. But the person before you did. The person before them did. Who problem is that? Right? I promote you. I do exactly what you tell me to do. I do it respectfully. I don't ask no questions. I take care of it. You pay me for a service. I make sure I get you straight. I did this promo. <clears throat> Motherfucker called me a scammer again. I'm a scammer again. Because you didn't get no subscriber. So, with that being said, now, we already had one apple that, that, that fell from the tree. And it was supposed to be, the rest of the apples was supposed to stay green. You know what I'm saying? That should have been clarity. Like, all right, I get a promo. This is strictly promotion. That's what I did. You know what I'm saying? But if other people decide that they don't want to subscribe, you think people don't click on your shit and look at it? You think people don't say, okay, Nick want me to subscribe to them. Now I heard what she said, but let me look at it first. All right. Um, they talking about something that I have nothing to do with. Um, I don't want to be a part of. I'm not subscribing, right? And they don't subscribe. So I'm 
I'm dealing with shit like that. My 30 year old mind is telling me, bitch, go live for yourself and you better do it now. I'm dealing with that. My grandmother. Y'all don't see me talk about my family much, do you? It's a lot of shit that goes on, you know what I'm saying? Behind the scenes, y'all. People ain't perfect. My granny has dementia. And um, she's starting to lose it a, a little more. In other words, not remembering who people are. Having to question it now. Because she can't remember who they are. Just went to jail a couple weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like I'm going through a midlife crisis. You know? And I know people are going through worse. You know what I'm saying? And um, I hope you get through your, your situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm just letting y'all know. I'm in a space where I have to clear my mind. And I have to stop ignoring things and putting shit on the back burner. It's time to start facing some of this noise. You know? Um, and that time starts now. So, made this video to let y'all know how old I am. I made this video to let y'all know I'm no longer in a relationship. I made this video to let y'all know it's time for me to think about me. And I made this video to let y'all know it's time to turn up. You know, life is entirely too short to be unhappy. But well, my nigga, if I can't make me happy first, if I can't make me happy first, I cannot make someone else happy. I, well, you know what I think selfish is? I think being selfish is holding on to someone and causing them pain because you're in pain. <clears throat> you know, you have your things going on that you don't understand, but you can't even see it because you're looking at everybody else. You like, oh fuck me, I put me on the back burner. What's wrong with you? That's me. That's who I am. I ain't worried about me. I'd be alright. What's wrong with you? Just ignoring the fuck out of little old me. You know what I'm saying? I'm done doing that. I'm done doing that. You know. So I wanna say I appreciate every last one of y'all. I ain't quit no damn YouTube. I ain't taking a break. I'm about to turn the fuck up. I'm about to get my time management together. To start, you know. My grandma is very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I hate that shit. And it's nothing I can do about it. You know. At the end of this month, I'm going to uh, my mama's side of the family. My Real mama, because my brother's getting married. That's going to test my maturity. You know, life is all about a test, bro. It's all about a test. But I had to let y'all know, you know what I'm saying, what's going on with me, how I feel, uh, why. You know, let y'all know that we did break up. I'm letting y'all know that I will be focusing on me. And I'm letting y'all know that I, ha I don't have hard feelings for anyone. If you decide that you don't want to, support her you're crazy she didn't do anything to you she ain't did nothing to me don't 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 go bashing her and all that lame shit that that goes on on youtube the lamest shit in the world like oh, oh hell no they broke up so i'm choosing her side shit is stupid you know what i'm saying i appreciate y'all and um to the people that really fuck with me, I'm glad I can call y'all family. You know what I'm saying? For real. And you know, even to the people that's hating, even even with videos like this, people can still find it in their dark ass heart to say something uh, mean to a person that's down. People love to kick people while they're down. You know, keep kicking. <clears throat> that's it. I um. That's it. I'm going to get myself together. I'm going to be more active. And I'm going to get my shit together going on out here too. You know what I'm saying? And um, thank y'all for supporting me. 
you know, listening to all my shenanigans, you know. And if you got a kind word to say, put it in the pinned comment, you know. And it's about that time I changed my number. So, in my last video, my video before last, I leaked my number. And I got about like three or four calls. And I mean, that's dope, because a bunch of people didn't call me. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want that. But damn, I exposed my own number. Y'all ain't even see the shit. But, just saying, <laughs> I'm off this. Uh, thanks for hearing me out. Have a good day. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world, and that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo, I cut the logo, I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three, pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time, you know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.